Hello Taurus, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how your person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So let's get right into this. Guardian Angels, Spirit Guides, and Taurus. Show me the messages for Taurus. So just so you're aware, if you are new here, I don't read reversals, so if you see the card flip out in reversed, I will put it upright. This is how I read tarot. It's how I've always read tarot, um, just so you're aware. So, let's see. <clears throat> Spirit, how does this person feel about Taurus? Wow! <laughs> Taurus, you can't make that up. I didn't even barely touch it and look what came out. Wow, that energy just, it, wow. Okay, so this person could be a Gemini. They feel really, really strong about you here, Taurus. I just have the biggest smile on my face because like, yeah, that the energy, I could just feel it burst out of the deck there. Um, this person feels drawn to you here. If this person hasn't told you they love you, they're definitely getting there. They might already love you and just haven't um, said it yet to you. But I'm also getting, you know, with this lover's energy that I feel like this person... It may take some time, but I feel like this person can be vulnerable with you in a way that they haven't been before. You know, the figures here are unclothed. I feel like this person is going to take off metaphorically speaking the layers that they've used to guard themselves in some way in previous relationships um with you Taurus it just feels different um yeah I feel I'm already definitely saying I feel like this is like a divinely guided union here um with that angel overlooking it as well wow I just <laughs> Taurus I just love your readings because they're always so powerful um I really look forward to them but Let's see. Tell me more about how this person feels. Wow. Do you see what I'm talking about? Those just flew out here. Okay. So we got the seven of cups, the ace of cups, the nine of wands, and the king of swords. So like I was saying, I feel like this person feels a little bit hesitant here. There's a little bit of guardedness, a wounded warrior energy here. Um, because I feel like this person, you know, I don't think they're going to tell you right away some of the things that they've experienced, some of the things they've gone through here. You know, that's it, it comes with time. Um, but I also feel like some of the things this person will end up telling you is things that they've never really told anyone. They've never really opened up and talked about. There's a lot of love here with that Ace of Cups. But I think with this guardedness that this person puts up, it can be confusing at times. It can feel like does this person like really care as deep for me as they, they say they do or they act like they do? Because sometimes they pull back is what I'm getting. And sometimes I feel like they put on this, um, this with this King of Swords energy here, I feel like they, when they do express how they feel, if they do, it can come off very blunt. It can come off very cold. But it, to me, it's, it's what I'm feeling is I feel like this person just, it's a very new territory for them. So they almost feel confused too by um, opening up and, and being, you know, super emotional here. There's, there's a lot of love here though with that, especially with that Ace of Cups, like it overflows. And for the lovers to be the first card to literally jump out of the deck there, um, yeah, this person cares a lot about you. There's just, there is hesitancy here. There's guardedness here. Um, so some, sometimes I feel like, uh, Taurus, it leaves you feeling a little confused. It leaves you maybe questioning, um, this person a little bit just because they, they, they are guarded. Um, again, Taurus, this could be you. You could feel like that's your energy I'm picking up on. Or if you're a cross watcher, that could be you as well. Um, so let's see this person's actions in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions will this person take towards Taurus? So we're getting the Six of Wands here. So that could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or there's also Gemini energy here. 
And remember, they, this could be their sun sign, their moon sign, or they could just have it heavily in their chart. Um, I'll post a link down below for how to find your birth chart. But tell me more about this person's actions towards Taurus, please. Thank you. I always wait for the cards to flip. So if you find those moments where I'm, I'm still shuffling, you know, um, lengthy, feel free to fast forward. But so we're getting the two of wands, the eight of swords and the knight of cups. So again, it's like this person wants victory here with you. They want to come forward. It's like they're planning on how to do it perfectly. I feel like this person almost overthinks that though. So for instance, if they, if they think of a date, they'll, um, plan it all out. You know, they'll be like, okay, exactly. We're going to go here and then we'll go here after for drinks or what have you. But then they'll, they'll start to think, wait, was that a good idea? Will Taurus really like that? Is that a good spot? What if they've been there before? What if they don't like that kind of food? What should I wear? And then they like change their outfit like three times before or something like that. Like there's like this nervousness around it and it's, it's wanting to impress you because I feel like they see you on top of your game here as well with that six of wands energy. Um, they see you as, you know, literally like above the rest, oops, literally above the rest here. You know, and it's not to compare, but it's just the, the way they feel about you and how they view you is um, they've won. They've won by, you know, being able to connect with you here, Taurus. So they, they're they really going to put their best foot forward here with that Knight of Cups energy. You know, they, they want to come in. They want to be studious. They want to be... Um, you know, like uh, a knight in shining armor, you know, and if you're a male watching this, whatever the female version of that is, you know, they, <laughs> I should probably figure that out, but you know what I'm getting at. This person wants to put their best foot forward here. They want to show you a good time. They want to do it right. But there is this mental prison at times that they kind of live in where they overthink is what I'm getting. I'm going to pull a card on that, but they're definitely coming forward here. They're planning. They're planning on how to come forward here to you and offer you something. Um, so this is someone who, you know, um, if they're not in your energy yet, Taurus, and you're sitting there like there's absolutely no one, I have no idea, then it's like they're going to meet you and they're going to know right away. They're going to feel it right away. And so they're going to, like I said, they're really going to try and impress you. Um, but let's see what this Eight of Swords is about. Tell me about the Eight of Swords, please, Spirit. The Ten of Swords. Look at that. So it's like they, they could be a, a Gemini, like I said, Libra, Aquarius. This person is, you know, they overthink. And I think it, it really has to do with, again, going back to that wounded warrior energy, something really painful has happened to them, right? And to, to us all in some way or other. But I just feel like this person doesn't open up about it. You notice how all the swords are down. There's no conversation about it. Um, this could have been something that happened a long time ago to this person, some sort of betrayal, backstabbing, wounding in some way. Um, even as far back as childhood, right? And, and I feel like it really has impacted this person and how they are and how they move in the world. So there's this hesitancy and there's this, there's this wall up and this overthinking because of what has happened in the past here. Um, so just be aware of that, Taurus. You know, I, I've been saying this in my readings lately. I, I just feel like there's this strange narrative about healing being like a linear and like uh, final process and healing is is a continual ongoing process right we are always healing um, so it's not you know and, and it's up to you wherever you are in your journey if you're like you know I want someone who's not so much thinking about the past or whatever like that's that's your choice that's your journey but in some way I feel like we all kind of carry baggage right let's call it that even though I don't really feel like that's the right word for it um, and it's just a matter of kind of understanding each other, right? We're all human. We all go through things. We've all had, you know, shitty things happen to us. We've all been shitty to people before. So it's just a matter of understanding and navigating. But this person, yeah, there's just worry around because of what has happened before here. Um, so again, that's, that's the energy of wanting to put the best foot forward, not wanting to mess this up, but also hesitant with you, a little bit fearful because they don't want to pour everything into this all at once just for it to end up like this again because I feel like um the act of betrayal is is heavy for them being betrayed by by another has been impactful on them so just keep that in mind but they're definitely coming forward here they're planning it they're almost like over planning it but let's see let's see their intentions what's this person's intentions with Taurus please spirit so we got the eight of pentacles and the five of swords came out right away with it. So yeah, they're, they're working on this self-sabotage, 
right? They're not, they're not wanting to do the same things that they've done before. So for instance, if they were an overthinker before in relationships, they might have constantly questioned their partner to the point where their partner felt like, you don't even trust me. What's the point of us being together? Right. And then it, it, it ends or something like that. Again, Taurus, if you feel like this is your energy, this could be you, but this person's working on it. Right. And I feel like they're really putting practical work into it. They're not just saying, okay, I'm, um, I won't do that anymore. They're like, okay, no, I'm going to start journaling or I'm going to go seek therapy or I'm going to, you know, um, exercise every day to like get my endorphins running and, and help myself. I'm going to start eating healthier. I'm going to express myself in a different way. You know, they're going to, they're, they're really putting practical work into, um, fixing this self-sabotage because it, and when I say self-sabotage again, it's like that overthinking, right? Mental prison of what if, what if, what if that's the anxiety talking of, is this good enough? Am I good enough? Um, so with you, Taurus, I really feel like they're like, this is different. Again, with that lover's card flying out at the beginning, um, th this is different. They want to put the work in. This is not something that they've done before. I feel like they were kind of just doing what they were doing. If they were guarded before, if they were an overthinker before who questioned their partners a lot, they were like, this is just what, what I do. This is just who I am right and and they could have had ex-partners be like no you know you need to work on that but they didn't find that connection deep enough for them to feel like it was something necessary they were like well no this is just but with you Taurus like they, they feel so intensely about you so deeply for you that they're like no I'm I I don't want to do this the same the way the same way that I have before excuse me so let's see anything else for this person's intentions <clears throat> Ooh, Taurus. I'm telling you I love your readings so much like uh, it just starts my day off my week off so amazing look at this the ten of pentacles and like the sun just shining in here making it all <clears throat> warm and fuzzy in here yeah this person sees long term here with you Taurus they could be another earth sign like yourself, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like they um, value stability here. They value groundedness. They want to build something that's strong um, from the ground up. And I feel like, again, they realize that has to do with them too, right? It's one of those connections where it's like they understand whatever I put into this, I'm going to get out. So if they put into this, you know, I'm going to try my best. I'm going to communicate. I'm going to open up. I'm going to work to understand what the other person needs. That's exactly what you're going to give back to us, right? Because I feel like that's just who you are too. Again, but if they put in overthinking, I'm what if, what if, what if, you know, then it's just going to, it's not going to be like that, right? It's going to be difficult. Look at that. Ace of Pentacles, the sun, Okay, so yeah, this person sees long term here with you, um, especially financially. I feel like this person could be working on their long term wealth or they're very, um, you know, money savvy. They're, they're good with money investing. I'm hearing they may own like uh, multiple properties or something like that. But this person is working on building something long lasting with you as a relationship, but also with their money as well. I'm, I'm getting like I feel like this person works quite hard for their money and they um they're very passionate about what they do as well. Beautiful. Anything else for this person's intentions, please, Spirit? They said no. So let's go to the potential outcome. What's the potential outcome between Taurus and this person, please, Spirit? Thank you for the messages so far. So we got the Knight of Swords. So there's definitely like a sense of urgency here, Taurus. So again, if you haven't met this person yet, I feel like they meet you and they're like, I gotta have Taurus. Like, I feel like I'm hearing, you know, um, they're gonna, they're gonna ask you out a bunch of times. They're not gonna let up. They're gonna, they're gonna make sure you know that they're interested. Um, you know, and if you're already with this person and this person's already in your energy here, I feel like, um, they're, they're very spontaneous. There's an energy here of kind of always looking for the next thing to do here. So, you know, they might be sitting there and they're like, let's go plan a trip, you know, and I know with the world's state right now, that might not be possible, but they're like, or let's try this new place for dinner or let's, you know, you wake up on a Saturday morning and they're like, I, I saw this thing and this post about, um, this really cool place. Let's go do that. There's this really spontaneous, like adventurous energy about them. Tell me more about the potential outcome between Taurus and this person, please, Spirit. 
Thank you. Look at that. Okay, so we got the Tower, the Six of Swords, the Chariot, and Judgment. Interesting energy here. So we have Cancer and Scorpio energy here. This is definitely going to come out of nowhere here. Um, expect the unexpected here, Taurus. I feel like, um, and for some of you, this is not a major energy I'm getting, but the Judgment card is a card of second chances, right? This could be someone that you've dealt with before, um, that maybe you dated before here or just, you know, had some sort of connection here with. But what I am getting is I feel like this comes out of nowhere here. I feel like this person um, has been in a state of understanding themselves better and wanting to, uh, like, there's, again, there's just this energy of wanting to work on self, like kind of judging self, looking at self, being like, which direction do I want to take this? And the direction they want to go is to calmer waters, right? Especially within their mind. I feel, you know, that overthinking or that um, self-sabotage sort of energy is something that they're like, I really don't want to do this anymore. And I feel like Taurus, you know, of course, people can't, you know, we're not here to fix other people and the fix, what does that even mean? <laughs> um, but, you know, we're not here, people can only do and heal as much as they want to, right? But I feel like Taurus, you are a catalyst in a way. Like, I feel like this person was kind of already in that energy a little bit but there wasn't really like a kick in the butt to kind of be like okay maybe I should stop doing xyz and then you come along and I feel like this person is like okay wait like this is way too good like I'm this is way too good I am not going to keep doing what I've been doing it's not worth it basically is what I'm getting um so expect the unexpected here especially with that tower energy here Taurus if you're again if you're sitting here like there's nobody like I have no idea who she's talking about um yeah they're gonna come out of nowhere here Anything else for the potential outcome, please, Spirit? <clears throat> we got the Emperor. So Aries energy here. I feel like this person um, is really going to step into that divine masculine energy. It doesn't necessarily mean that they have to be, you know, a, a man, a male, um, because we all have masculine, feminine energy. But just being a leader, right? Again, like just taking taking action, taking responsibility. Also, I'm hearing, you know, wanting to move forward here. I feel like. Um, this person's intentions are for long term here. You know, they feel strong about you. But like I said, um, you know, Taurus, if you're in an energy where you're like, well, if someone still has like struggles with like overthinking or whatever, like I don't want to like deal with that. I, I feel like that's why the potential is just saying expect the unexpected. This person wants to uh, come forward, take action here, um, move to calmer waters here. And then I feel like you will f figure out what's going to happen. You know, because but like we're, I'm reading energy, right? Like it's always changing. So it just day to day, it could change, right? So it's um, understanding that day to day, the actions that this person takes, putting the work into themselves, putting the work into this relationship, there's potential here, right? There is, because I feel like there's move, movement towards calmer waters here, um, for, especially in this person's mind here. I'm feeling like I need one more though. Tell me more. Anything else about the potential outcome, please, Spirit? Thank you. Look at that. <laughs> taking a risk, taking a leap of faith here, Taurus. I'm telling, oh my gosh. It just makes me so happy because I feel it. I feel the energy. I feel the happiness that you will feel, Taurus. I feel it. I feel um, the calmness, the warmness, the, um, the stability, the comfort, the ease. It, it, it's all here right? This is arguably the best card in the deck. So expect the unexpected. Again, I'm also getting this, you know, the tower is an energy of whatever's been going on is no longer working, right? This is the universe's way of coming in and being like, okay, what, like, especially if this person was just very surface level relationships, overthinking all the time, you know, what have you. I feel like this sudden unexpected change leads to this ultimate happiness here, right? And you know what? This, I have to say this and I don't, ever say this in my readings because I do love readings this could turn into a very strong friendship too right Taurus so if you're sitting there being like you know I feel like who, I know who she's talking about but this is just a really you know great friend um I feel like this person will always be there for you they'll always be there they're they're always going to um be around for you take care of you be there to talk be there to listen especially I'm hearing but you know the majority of energy I'm feeling is a love read right and and the sun is here the sun is 
beautiful, beautiful energy. It's a fresh new start. It warms up your day, right? It's like, good morning, baby texts every single day. Good, good night, baby texts every single night. It's like never going to bed mad at one another. It's not to say issues won't happen. It's just a matter of seeing the bigger picture here. And I feel like the overall energy of the two of you is this beautiful long-term happiness here. Beautiful, beautiful. Taurus, I just love your reading. So Taurus, I got a new deck and it's the Kipper deck. Um, I don't know if people are familiar with this, but I'm just going to try it out today and we'll see what comes out. So Spirit, do you have any cards here for Taurus? Any messages for Taurus here about this person or about this connection? And all my decks are listed in the description down below. So if you're interested, <clears throat> you can take a look. Spirit, any messages for Taurus here? I mean, maybe not, Taurus. <clears throat> oh, I spoke too soon. Okay, so we got high honor, we got thief, and we got courthouse. So 23, 24, 25. Interesting. So they're all in order. So I do feel like this is, again, like this is really, um, and I'm seeing main female at the bottom here. This is really lining up. Like everything's happening in, um, in order here. Interesting. High honor. I'm getting, I feel like whatever this ending could have been before with this person, they could be in court like with their ex or something like that. And they feel like this person not only stole like their time, their energy, but like isn't giving like there's there could be money involved here. That could also be why their their guard is up. Um, but you are with this high honor card, I'm really getting that's how this person's going to view this relationship and that's how they're going to hold it to a high honor here um yeah interesting i'm still getting familiar with kipper so i'm just going to leave that there but let's get um some of these oracle cards any messages for taurus here please we got sword and rose, clarity and truth, revelations, honor and protection, determination. So again, that clarity and truth, I feel like will come in time, but also this honor and protection. I feel this person, high honor again, like they're going to hold this relationship to a high standard. Um, we got pictures, looking at pictures, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories is what I'm really getting from that. We got love call, expressing love, messages of love, thinking of you, informing you. Mm -hmm. They're coming on in here, Taurus. Any other messages for Taurus? Thank you. We got the snake, competition and enemy, the other woman. Look over your shoulder. Interesting. I'm definitely going to pull a card on that. It's funny how I just kind of placed it and it landed right on the Ten of Swords. So that could definitely be that past energy here. And then I'm getting Twin Flame, Yin Yang and Balance, Union and Duality, Complement, Polar Opposites. So this could have been a. T okay, before I say anything, let me just pull the rest of these. So we have grounding, stability and security, performance, growth and endurance. There's that Ten of Pentacles energy and that Eight of Pentacles really like. Yeah, something stable here. We got attraction, teasing, hooking up and date, third party temptation. The hooking up and date, like I feel like that's what the two of you, you know, there's a lot of attraction here too. Um, but let me pull on this, the snake. Because I am feeling like it's that ten of swords energy. Tell me about the snake, please, spirit. We got the king of swords. So it's interesting because like I said at the beginning, this person could come off cold right? Could come off like, um, when they do express themselves, it, 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 it come, it, how do I put this? I, cold. That's the only way I can put it. And this King of Swords energy is coming out again. So I feel like this is kind of how they're used to communicating, right? Especially if this was a painful ending with an X here. I feel like this person is used to kind of being sharp tongued or very, very, very cold. Like that's the only way I'm, I can explain it right now. Um, so just be aware of that, that when that comes out, I feel like it's important to remember that it's coming out because this is how they would communicate with that other individual. It's definitely something that they're working on here. Um, but again, this is, I'm, I'm just reading the energy, right? Okay. So let's see, let's get some of these here. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? Be bold and make the first move. So Taurus, if you know who this person might be, that could be spirits 
you know, encouragement there for you. What messages for Taurus, please, Spirit? Thank you. Surrender to the divine. Like I said, like 23, 24, 25, you got those in order. And I did shuffle this deck before um, as well as while I was doing it now. But it, it, there's divine order here, right? Um, it, it's all happening exactly when it's supposed to. And then I see a new start is coming at the bottom here. So let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus here, please? Thank you. We got let go. I feel like that's of control. <laughs> Again, surrendering to the divine. We got no. So if you were asking yourself a yes, no question and unlikely. Okay, so I'm definitely going to pull a card on those to clarify. What is this no and unlikely, please, spirit? What is this no and unlikely? Okay, the queen of wands. So if there was someone, especially in their past, that they had just a physical connection with here, I feel like this person, that's not like, no, that's not happening. It could have been their ex as well, because, you know, sometimes people stay in relationships that end up like this because there's, you know, a really strong physical connection. Let's just be real. That happens, right? And um, that's what this person could have been in before. And so maybe not used to the conversation stuff, not used to sitting down and having heartfelt um, open uh, conversations because that's not what this past relationship was based on. So if you're concerned about, you know, a feminine um, energy here or just someone that there was maybe a very strong physical connection to, you know, no and unlikely are both popping up here for a reason. Um, so let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus, please? Wow. Wow. Okay, so we got time for a nap, number 24. We got never ending story, number 37. And then we got milk and honey, number 51. Okay, let's just read these. Time for a nap, 24. I know these cards aren't for everyone, so if you want to skip through, feel free. So you got, when it comes to matters of the heart, don't make any plans right now. If you're not partnered, it's good to take this time to get time out to get to know yourself. If you're involved with someone, relax and just be with your partner. This is going to be an uneventful moment in time. Don't force anything now. Allow things to flow naturally and a beautiful renewal will take place all by itself. Patience is the key to your heart's desire now. Withdraw from action in your relationship and give it a rest so that your love and connection can become rejuvenated. Okay. And then we got 37. We got, this is a time to avoid drama at all costs, especially when it comes to other people's stuff. Your sensitivity is on overload these days and you're best served by keeping your distance. Your mantra today is not my circus, not my monkeys. All this drama will pass and you will carry on unscathed and blameless. Again, that's really standing out to me like the, like, I feel like this queen of wands came out for a reason, right? So if there is someone in this other person's energy who's, who's persistent, I'm getting, um, yeah, just be aware of that. This is not, that's not yours to deal with, right? And then we got Milk and Honey, number 51 in the reverse. 51. A nameless unease compels you to turn to pleasure and comfort as a means to escape what's really going on. It works in the moment, but only fleetingly, before the feelings return and you need to re-up until you're exhausted. Feeling worse than before, you may continue struggling or you may see the light and choose to surrender to spirit. Now is the time for practicing extreme self-care. If you can, do so before you engage in behaviors you'll regret later. You are so loved, so cared for. Feel love and compassion for yourself. Turn your troubles over to the divine for healing. That's all that counts right now. So really, like you're, three different cards with three different messages, but all kind of relating to take some time to just you know, chill out, don't get involved in any drama. If this person, you know, has an ex-partner who's kind of being, pre like it's coming up for a reason, right? There's a presence here, there's an energy here. Um, you know, and just be, surrender, surrender to the divine here. Um, a new start is coming, it looks like, you know, or if you're already with this person, it looks, it looks really good. 
So Taurus, let's get some of these here for you. So these could be initials of you, this person, um, numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, what have you. But if something here doesn't resonate with you, it does not mean it's not your reading. So we got S, T, B, H, L, E, T, P, X and the number five and the fives are numbers of change so Taurus I do hope something here resonated with you if it did please let me know in the comments down below please like share subscribe if you feel drawn thank you so much for all your beautiful energy love and light